Anyways, let's go back to the third paragraph where it says, and again, this is what's important about this. It, it, you know, if we have ever felt this in that second paragraph where it says, if we've ever felt this sense of weakness, uh, if we've ever felt this sense of anxiety, depression, anger, or frustration, we're trying to be in charge. So we need to start depending on something that is reliable and is within us, but is not us of our own limited self. So the third paragraph goes on, God is your safety in every circumstance. This is the truth that abides within us. And it's very, very small in us. And it takes practice to become aware of it and to trust it. It's a muscle we haven't used very much. The world does not support this muscle, but we have to support this muscle. That's why these early lessons just say, think of anything that diminishes you and practice this thought to, so that it becomes a, a standard in your problem solving repertoire. You know, it's something you turn to. God is your safety in every circumstance. His voice, his voice speaks for him, the truth in all situations and in every aspect of all situations, telling you exactly what to do to call upon his strength and his protection. You know, there's a part of you that knows exactly how to handle everything, no matter what is going on in a way, because it is not you, it is his voice that is calling to you. And that's what we need to begin to realize it is there, you know, and call upon that for ourselves. But that's a practice. That's a muscle. That's an, that's a spiritual exercise. There are no, and I love this, there are no exceptions because God has no exceptions. The voice which speaks for him thinks as he does. It's right there. It, it can help you. This problem is not too tough for him. This problem is not beyond his control. This problem is, you know, he, he can handle it. He can help you. So we'll try. Then it says just reach past all these things that are your own sense of weakness, right? In the fourth paragraph. That's all this is talking about. And we kind of did it there. Think about life situations that you've invested with fear. You know, anything that causes you upset or anxiety. And all it says is what? Dismiss each one. I like it. I like the word dismiss. God is the strength in which I trust. I'm not going to hold that. God is the strength in which I trust and let it go. Because here's what we like to do. We think about the thing. God is the strength in which I trust. Gee, I only wished I could do that because if I could, then it would be make it so much easier. But if that person has got to do this and they've got to do that, and then I could, no, it, see, that's where we start analyzing the problem. We start dissecting it and thinking it's impossible. When this says, no, dismiss it. You say it, you move on. Go on to the next one, move on. Don't sit there trying to figure out why this is so impossible to fix from this current perspective. God doesn't know your limitations. He sees only the truth in you. He sees only the truth in you, knows you are really only that one mind. We are the ones that sit there in our limitations. So we need to address these problems, move on. Address it, you know, this problem, God is a strength in which I trust. Move on. God is a strength in which I trust. Don't figure out how you're supposed to figure it out. It's you're trying to figure it out that's always gotten us into trouble. Because then you're trying from your past perception to figure out how I'm going to solve this problem. The answer that's going to come to you is going to dawn on your mind from a higher perspective, not down in the battleground. You're going to go above the battleground and you're going to get an answer that makes sense that you never thought of. It's going to be one of these. I never thought of that. Have you ever had one of those? Hmm? We all have. But we don't get those when we're trying... How when do you get the answers to your problems? When you're trying to figure out your problems? That's it. In the shower, blow drying your hair, watching some silly, they call it secondary thinking. Why secondary thinking? Because you know what? You got out of the way. That's what secondary thinking is. You got out of your own way. So that's why this is saying to you, bring up the thing that bugs you and say, God is a strength in which I trust. Th bring up the thing that causes you fear. God is a strength in which I trust and move on. 